Deersdorf. I'm Max Williams. I'm Desi Oiti. I'm Ben Weaver. And I'm Carly Coffey. And we are presenting, um, we are presenting Toys R Us and why they failed. Um, so we'll be discussing, I will start by discussing a brief introduction. Um, Toys R Us is a leading toy company, toy and baby product uh, retail company that offers a wide range of products uh, globally. Uh, their vision is to put joy in kids' hearts and a smile on parents' faces. Um, their, their mission is is that through strategic partnership and programs focused on keeping children safe and helping them in times of need, the company is dedicating to serving communities around the world and um, as a caring and reputable neighbor. Um, the company began in 1948. Um, they started out selling cribs and strollers, but later uh, they became a chain store supplying toys, dolls, bikes, and electronics. Um, the company expanded into 1,600 stores worldwide. Unfortunately, by 2017, the brand um, was deep in $7.9 billion uh, debt, and they actually filed for bankruptcy in an effort to shed uh, the debt and to stay in business. As a result, um, the company ended up closing about 800 of its stores. Um, they also started uh, liquidating some of their assets, which included merchandise, um, assets, and store equipment and fixtures. Um, during the same time, they planned to auction uh, their intellectual property, which included the company's name, website, and its brand mascot, but abandoned the idea in 2018. The press released um, a statement um, um, saying that the management was attempting to develop ideas for what the new Toys R Us and uh, stores from its sister brand, Babies R Us, would look like. Although Toys R Us was not escaping bankruptcy, um, the owner did try to find a future for the company. Um, our group, um, Group 5, has been hired as consultants to identify issues that led to the failure of Toys R Us and um, to give the management advice on how uh, the company can move forward and in an effort to help the company rise from bankruptcy. Yes, so there are a lot of uh, some key issues that we're gonna discuss in this presentation about 20 or towards our Rust's decline over the last 20 years. Um, we found there is many factors that, uh, that are at play for uh, their, their fall here. Um, one being the, the competition that has, has uh, arised, uh, more specifically Target and Walmart, um, two very, very popular uh, retail stores and supermarket stores. Um, they sell a large selection of toys as well as this, uh, groceries and clothing. Um, this was a big competition for Toys R Us because this gave uh, shoppers another incentive to go to Walmart or Target not only will they be uh, picking out toys for their kids in their entertainment, um, they will be getting groceries as well as clothing there too. Um, toys R Us, they could have um, implemented many strategies to kind of uh, keep up to par with the, the competition. However, um, with the lack of strategies and improvement, they were unable to do so. Another key issue we found um, how the man they were managing for technical technological advances in the stores um, and not adapting to selling online. Um, we will talk later uh, how Amazon uh, is a big uh, website for online sales and how they've uh, able to sell many different products, including Toys R Us, on their websites. Um, Toys R Us, however, did not kind of adapt to this change. Um, they were focused more of how can they improve the in-store atmosphere and environment for the shoppers instead of um, realizing that customers uh, want the conveniency of online stores. Um, and the last uh, key issue, um, the trends of the toys and entertainment for kids. Um, they were going in the direction of technology, including video games and iPads and tablets instead of the handheld toys. Um, and unfortunately, Toys R Us was not able to uh, adapt to that trend either. So 
one uh, aspect uh, uh, of why Toys R Us has fallen the last 20 years is their lack of proactive change. Uh, so proactive change is planned change by a business for anticipated problems and opportunities that arise. Um, Toys R Us did not anticipate that customers were kind of turning to a more convenient way of shopping and using online websites to get their groceries, store or uh, clothing, as well as toys. Um, and Toys R Us did not kind of jump on the online aspect and almost focused on improving the in-store, uh, like we talked about earlier. Um, the company was purchased by a private equity entity and the new owners, unfortunately, they did not make an effort to re-image the company uh, to make it more attractive to online customers. Um, again, they kind of focused on uh, improving in-store aspects. You can go to the next slide. <clears throat> One example um, of Toys R Us not uh, kind of uh, implementing online stores um, to their own customization is how they kind of partnered with Amazon in 2000 uh, for 10 years for a $15 million deal um, and where uh, Amazon allowed Toys R Us to sell their products on Amazon.com. Um, however, they will be taking a percentage of their sales. So this kind of led to a loss of re revenue overall for Toys R Us, and it kind of hurt the business in the long run. Um, as Amazon was seeing how well the sales were for Toys R Us and just toys, they opened up their um, e-commerce website to many other vendors, um, including toy vendors who are directly competition of Toys R Us. These other vendors, they would sell toys as well as um, like Walmart and Target, um, clothing items, groceries, as well as electronics. Um, so Toys R Us, uh, throughout these years, in, uh, especially with that deal with Amazon, they lost major um, kind of momentum in the e for their e-commerce e strategies and their online presence, um, which ultimately led to their fall or was a big reason for their fall. So there are a number of things that Toys R Us could have done to stay in business that they just uh, totally lacked on doing. Um, uh, one of the one of the first being all the online shopping that was uh, starting to become a thing during the time. Uh, they just didn't uh, adapt to that as well as the other companies did. Uh, they also had a bad uh, brand image. A lot of customers complained about things like uh, the rudeness of employees. Uh, they could have also done uh, things with big movies to increase uh, interest from kids, like uh, have the employees dress up like characters from Marvel movies. Uh, they could have also taken advantage of uh, social media advertising, which was starting to become a thing uh, when they were losing business. And then they could have also sold other types of products like Target and Walmart did. Um, like groceries and clothes, uh, they mainly only sold, sold toys, so uh, customers started to flock to those other stores. Uh, they also could uh, keep the interest of the parents by giving the kids uh, areas to try out the toys before buying them, or uh, including like a little cafe or a coffee shop for the parents to have a coffee or some food while the kids shop. You can go on. So here I focused on some of the bigger changes that they could have implemented and their possible outcomes. So like if these were executed properly, many of the challenges they were faced with could have been avoided. Um, so adapting to selling toys online as well as selling a larger variety of toys and games could have helped kept Toys R Us higher in the competition during that time. Um, also improving the experience in stores with well-trained employees and a fun atmosphere could have kept ratings higher for Toys R Us. As mentioned previously, um, the employees were seemed rude um, and I vividly remember being in a Toys R Us and it was not very clean. Um, and with the rise of technology and the internet becoming more popular for shopping, better advertisements could have really helped keep customers and also bring new ones in. Advertising is a huge part of any company's success, and if all three of these changes were implemented, their ads could have consisted of their positive ratings and their wide selection of toys. Um, in the 1990s, Toys R Us had really good advertisements with commercials in their newspapers and ads, um, but as technology came about, their ads stayed the same as they were before, which were not great anymore. 
Um, so as a well-known toy store for almost a century, this would have boosted business a lot for them. You can go to the next slide. And although Toys R Us did have a vision to create a store to fill kids with joy, and like Rachel said, they were successful back in the 1990s, but after the decline in production and advertising in the last two centuries, um, this and multiple factors have also contributed to Toys R Us's failure. Failure, failure to ever successfully really get into the electronic business like Amazon or Walmart Amazon had really taken over the electronic side of the business industry, as well as being unethical towards employees back in 2018, which caused the company to struggle paying back a $4 million debt, which really was an uphill battle they couldn't win. Um, we also advertised diff addressed different ways that Toys R Us could have stayed in business, such as adapting to the brand and um, that was in higher demand, such as electronics and games. Rather than sticking to strictly toys, revamp the company's image as a whole and even promote better advertising. You can go next. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. This is the end of our presentation.